I'm standing here on the ecology field trip of 2011. As you can see behind me, the river is now flooding into the streets because of the rain. The water has no place to go but into the forest and soon enough into the street. Let's walk over here and see what our class is up to. As you can see behind me, Mr. Goodman's class is now taking water samples from the river. As you can see, student Keith Skyda is now taking samples from the water by using a D-net. I'm here standing with Keith Skyda, as you can see before, who was using the D-net in the water. Now Keith, can you tell us what exactly a D-net is for and how it's used? Well, a D-net, what you do is you go in the river and where it's murky and there might not be any rocks for the macroinvertebrates to colonize, you stick it in the dirt and scrape it along and the water washes out anything that's not, that you don't need and you get all the macroinvertebrates that you need in there so you can do your tests. I enjoy this uh, field of study very much. I like ecology, I like learning about the environment and this is just another way for a hands-on experience. Very good, Keith. Thank you. I'm sitting here with teacher Mr. Goodman in charge of this field trip. Now Mr. Goodman, uh, what, what have we gotten out of this area for this field trip? Well, uh, so far we uh, have found that the water is quite a bit different than the water back at uh, Passaic Valley High School where we usually do our testing. Uh, the conductivity and therefore the total dissolved solids is a lot lower. Dissolved oxygen was lower. Uh, clarity was lower. And I'm, I'm thinking that that might be a surprise to some students who expected the water quality here to be much better than it is where, where we go. But it might be partly a result of the fact that the river is flooding. Uh, it's very, very high right now, carrying a lot of detritus in it. Due, the, due to the rain that's been happening a lot this past week, does that interfere with the tests that we're doing today? No, it doesn't really interfere with them, I don't think, but it, it probably does change uh, the numbers that we get a little bit. Uh, but to be honest, I'm not entirely sure, so that's part of the reason for doing it, so we can find out. Okay, thank you, Mr. Goodman. You're welcome. standing here with student Rob Skelzo, who is currently doing water tests. Now Rob, what kind of tests were you doing? Water clarity. You gotta find out how clear the water is. And how do you use this device that you're holding in your hand? Well, my partner Serge uh, would take a scoop of water and we would pour it in. And if you can see the penny, then it's clear enough. But, some, but the water here is very dirty, so we're unable to see it. I see. Now, uh, I see that you have a penny on the bottom of the tube. Now, is it the visibility that counts? Is that the is that the test? Well, if you can't if you can't see the penny, then it, it means that the water is too dirty. So when we did it, we were unable to see the penny. So that means that water is indeed dirty. Thank you, Rob, and thank you for your time. We'll talk to you later. Thank you, sir. As you can see here, the water is very dirty due to the climate that we have had. It has been raining a lot this season, and therefore, as you can see, the water is starting to flood into the forest and soon enough into the streets. Now Mr. Longo, what what can what can you tell me about this river? Uh, you can see how it flows this way and how all it's about flooded 100 feet into the forest because of all the rain we've been getting. 
Very nice, very nice. 